Hi, my name is Song. I'm the creator of Tower Defense Toolkit. In this video, we're going to talk about towers. I'm going to explain to you how tower works in a nutshell and show you how to make a prefabs. And let's get started by looking at one of the default prefabs I made for the demo. So mostly, we're going to concentrate on turret tower because um, they are the most common tower you've seen in most tower defense game and unfortunately they are too the most difficult one to get it right yeah, because of their complexity uh, when you want to factor in all the visual and the working of the, of the mechanics and yeah uh, in a, on the very simple level tower is basically an empty object with a unit tower script attached to it and a collider. The collider is just there so that the user can select the tower during runtime. So in most cases you want to make sure that the boundary of the collider cover um, the overall mesh of the tower really well. Um, say if you reduce this then the user wouldn't be able to select it if they just click on the top part of the tower. right? So now we get past that. So let's just focus at the unit tower. So back to cannon, uh, back to tower tower. So the way the the tricky bit with tower tower is it requires a shoot object um, because it shoots something at the the crypts before it can damage it. So that means you need to assign it with a shoot object. So I have a bunch here. So we need to talk about shoot object for a bit. Um, shoot object is basically uh, an object, any object in fact, with a shoot object script attached to it. Like this one here is a normal uh, primitive spear with a shoot object attached on it. And you can have all sorts of effect. Of course, you can have particle collide, uh, particle if, uh, if system. And then we just, uh, this is, sorry, this, um, right, let's look at this one. So this is basically the missile sh um, shoot object we use in the demo. So it's basically a particle system with a trail render. And on top of that, you have your shoot object, of course. And this is the key, I have to say. So there's a, a few type of it. Um, this is pretty much self-explanatory. You can go through the documentation to understand more. We're just going to gloss through this bit in this video. So um, you need to assign your shoot object to your to your tower, um, and as well as giving it a position to fire from. Um, the position, of course, it's optional, but in most cases, your turret tower will have a turret object, which you can assign a, a reference position where the shoot object can be fired from. Um, to do that, uh, you need to have this turret object script on your turret uh, on your turret and then you need to have the shoot point itself so as this is a reference position in most cases you want to place it well in almost every case you want to place it right where the barrels end uh, which is where the projectile or the shoot object is going to be shoot from so and then you assign this shoot point back to this script here, turret object. You can, as you can see, it's a list or array. You can have more than one shoot point, actually. And then if you notice, uh, the missile tower in the demo, it shoot two shoot object. Um, that is because it has two shoot point, right? So that means if you multiply the shoot point, automatically you are multiplying the shoot object. Right, so, um, now I've explained that, let's look at how do you assign um, all this together. So we're going to look at the editor, right? We're going to skip through all this buff, right? Just focus on here. So this is where you assign the shoot object and the target object and the base object. So uh, if you notice, there's a uh, you can assign different shoot object, target object, and base object for each level. What that means is you can change the appearance of the tower when you upgrade. 
or change the appearance of the shoot object when you upgrade. If you play the demo long enough, you notice um, when you upgrade the cannon tower, it changed its tower turret appearance to a spear shape. So this is what happened here. Because I've assigned a different turret to the level 2 shoot object. So this is what you get when you upgrade the tower. Right? If you leave it blank, you just use the default one. So if you leave the default one blank, um, it will do nothing. Um, have, um, having said that, I should say that all the base and the turret, even as a turret object, it's optional. It can work as long as it has got a unit tower and a shoe object uh, assigned to it. Even though you didn't assign the shoe object, it will still work. It will just shoot a default shoe object, which is this one, just an empty spear. So, but for the most case, you will want this too, right? And have, yeah, I think that's pretty much cover how a turret tower work. Now we're gonna build a prefab, right? So I have got a model here which we can use. Nice. Okay. Now we're gonna create an empty object. So the first thing first, attach a script on it. Right, and then you can start by moving this mesh into the base object. Might as well rename this. Okay, so if you look at here, there's quite a few parts here, but for the most part, you want to categorize them into turret and base. Um, base is actually everything that doesn't move. The turret is everything on the turret which is the part that tr tracks the target so let's just quickly group this into one so this is going to be turret and let's make sure it's in the center make sure we get the pivot point right yep looks about right to me so, so we have our turret and we have our body. Good. Now let's put this into the new tower. And one thing you should know is the position of the child object is very important. And when you build a tower prefab or when you build a tower, the position is always set exactly at where the tower is in this case if you build on this tower it's gonna be right let's just remove this um, for now right the hive is going to be set to the hive of this platform so in this case it's gonna be zero right and if we build on say this tower here so the position is gonna be something of like 0.3 and no, in fact, I think this is zero. So zero and four, right? So if you place this, wrong selection. Right, it's very important that you get this right otherwise let's say if this is built here and wow you didn't get this position right or you place it right at the center and this is how your tower will look like And it will look as if it has sunk to the ground. Oh, oh it didn't happen here. But let's just, I'm just gonna prove my point with this. Right, if I set this to zero and I set this to 0 0.1, 
right? So it's gonna look like as if it had sunk through the build platform. So you need to always make sure that all the mesh is above the center point of your tower, tower, as well as from the top down, they're always center. Means the X and Z position will always be zero unless you have some offset on the base or the tower object itself and in that case you can always parent it under another object where you can do the offset in this case yeah. in fact this is what I've just done there right so we have got, got this sorted now we're just gonna add it to the tower manager so we can start to edit it Right. No, but first off, we need to make it a prefab. So let's do just that. Okay, done. Now we can add this to the tower manager. We haven't given it an icon, but that's absolutely fine. And now we can start editing it in tower editor. Right. Now we're gonna assign the shoot object and the turret and the base object base object will be of course the body oh I have to do this off screen okay and the shoot object we're gonna use one of the default let's say it shoots a missile right so there we go, we have done it, we shoot the shoot object, we have the target object and the base object and that's pretty much it, you can start to configure everything else such as the damage, the build duration, the cost, yup that's plenty of stat to configure here and, yep, and some other stuff as well, uh, you can just go through the documentation right so that's pretty much it you can start building this so let's go into one of the example scene Done. okay um, so it's there make sure it's buildable okay good So it will shoot me up. And the thing is, it is shooting from the middle of the tower. And because I haven't assigned a shoot object to it. Yeah, I forgot that. Shame on me. So I'm gonna do that right now. So like I said, you have to add a turret object on the turret. and then you can assign the shoot point so we're gonna create an empty object place it here this will be the shoot point and I will assign this shoot point to this and now to position it right as you can see I'm gonna do this on a purpose so don't place it in the right position and then apply change Right, it's gonna shoot not from the center of the uh, from the center of the turret. Yep. So, yeah, as you can see, uh, you can place it pretty much everywhere you want, and of course, uh, with freedom, it is your own responsibility to make sure that you got the setting all right. And let's and I'm I'm gonna do this on purpose again. I'm gonna place the turret a bit off. But I'm gonna get a shoot point just right. Right, that's done. So apply change again. 
Oh, um, by the way, you can replace tower in your scene. So I'll just leave this here so I don't need to build it. So, so it will just work right from the start. See? Yeah, so that's what happens if you haven't got your position right. It will still work, but it's gonna look all weird. But if you notice, at least now it fires from the right position. So let's put it back. Yeah, is that it? Yep, that's it. And yeah. And if I play again, you'll notice because I haven't have a collider on it, I can't bloody select it. I, oh, I can. Okay, I forgot. If you haven't assigned a collider, the script will automatically assign one for you. But it's not. That collider is not going to be perfect, of course. It's a pure sphere collider. It makes rough estimation based on the size of your tower. I'm using this scale here. So it's, got, it's not going to be entirely accurate. Right, unless you have a pretty evenly distributed mesh there like this one here so it works out rather well if you have a heavily offset tower like most of it's empty then you're gonna have a problem so in most cases you will want to assign your, the collider yourself but in this case it seems to be work fine so I'll just leave that and I think that's covered pretty much everything um, if I if you still have any question feel free to ask me I've tried to cover as much as I can but as you can see tower is in itself is a quite complicated subject um, it is a tower defense game after all and I'll just stop the video here thanks for watching hope you find it useful